Welcome to the solutions to homework set number two for ECE 376 for spring 2022. The first, well, this homework set is assembler programming and flowcharts. The first problem is convert the following C code to assembler. So here's the C code right here. That semicolon is a comment statement in assembler. Each line of C corresponds to a couple lines of assembler. The first one, these are 8-bit variables. That's what character means. This is an 8-bit processor, so each variable can be stored in one spot in memory, one byte. So arbitrarily, I'm going to put A, B, and C at memory address 0, 1, and 2. This is arbitrary. Anything between 0 and 3992, you've got 3.9k of RAM. The second instruction. To do this operation, kind of do it in steps. I'm going to first move 4 to W, add B to W twice, that's 2 times B plus 4, add C to W three times, put the result in A. So this code is that one line of C. And kind of notice that each line of C can be multiple lines of assembler. So likewise, if you ask how many lines of C code can the microprocessor store, um, that's not really a valid question. It's somewhere between 1 and 32,000. Depends upon the C code. Problem 2. Repeat problem 1, but now using 16-bit numbers. 16-bit numbers require two spots in memory. So I'm going to store A in a, at address 0 and 1, B at address 2 and 3, C at address 4 and 5. Uh, let's see, and I'm going to have kind of arbitrarily the 16-bit number is stored in two memory locations. A is the low byte. A plus 1 is the high byte. To store, start out with the number 4. 4 is equal to 0, 4. High byte is 4, 0 is the low byte. Move 4 to the low byte, clear the high byte. A now contains the number 4. Add B to it. To do that, I need to add the low byte of B, B plus 1, and B. Add B to the results. So take the low byte of B, move it to W, add it to the low byte of A, put the result in the low byte of A, that's a comma F. Take the high byte of B, move it to W, add that with carry. When you go right to left, like in base 10, I want to do 17 plus 26, 7 plus 6 is 13, carry the 1, that's the carry bit. I need to keep track of what is their carry out, that's what the add with carry does. Add the high byte in. That's 4 plus b, 4 plus 2 times b, plus c, plus c, plus c. <sighs> okay, so that's 3c plus 2b plus 4. Uh, notice that 16-bit is much, much harder than 8-bits. It's an 8-bit processor. That's going to come into play when we get to C coding. I would really prefer using 8-bit operations if I can. It's much faster. 16-bits isn't too bad. Floating point is really slow. Problem three, uh, convert the following to assembler. This is a traffic light. A is going to count 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, a ring counter. And that makes the traffic light go green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red. So start out with a ring counter. I'm going to assign A and B some spot in memory, kind of arbitrary. I'm going to count mod 3. Increment A, put the result in A. I'll move 2 to W. And I think I missed something. I might miss something. Okay. Um, if A is... I missed this guy. That's a CPFSGT. A goes here. I want to do this command. Is A greater than 2? To do that, I need to set up the command. So move 2 to W, compare A to W. If A is greater than 2, skip. If A is greater than 2, I skip, and I clear A. Otherwise, I go to L1. Check is A equal to 0. To set that up, I'll do compare skip if equals. So this compares A to W. So first set it up. Move 0 to W, compare A to W. If it's equal, I skip. Um, if it's not equal, I skip over, go to the go to. 
um, equal I skip and B equals 1. Let's move 1 to W, W to B. Else if A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, that's compare skip if equals. I need to set it up, so move 1 to W, compare A to W, skip if equals. If I don't skip, I'm going to hit that statement and go to L3. If, it, if I do skip, B equals 2. Move 2 to W, move W to B, um, then I'm done. L5. Um, else, B equals 4. Move 4 to W, W to B. Problem 4. Um, this is what? A while statement. It's going to start out by clearing A, A equals 0. While A is less than 10, uh, move 10 to W, compare A to W, skip if A is greater than 10. Correction, skip if A is less than 10. So if A is less than 10, I skip over. If I don't skip, I am done. That's the while loop. B is B plus C, move C to W, add W to B, put the result in B, increment A, put the result in A, repeat. While loop. Problem five. This is what you can expect on the midterm. I'll give you a flowchart. Convert the following code to assembler, and each block gets converted. The first block is right here. To make port B input, I need to move FF to trace B. That controls input or output. One means input, zero means output. Port C is output. Uh, Tris C equals zero, and also need to clear CLRF. Tris D. Both C and D are output. Next block. It's right here. Port D is 100, so move 0 to W, move W to port D. Everything goes through W. Uh, this guy right here, that's a label. I'm going to have a go to statement. I've got to have some place to go to. That's your label. I want to keep on checking until RB0 equals 0. So if RB0 is 0, keep on spinning. Actually, skip out when it's 1. So that's a bit test, skip if set. If RB is 0, I don't skip. And I keep on looping around. As soon as I hit RB0, as soon as it goes to 1, I skip and I get out. This block of code is right here. Count on port C mod 8, increment port C, put it in W. Mod 8 is the same thing as AND7. Um, so that's port C incremented, mod 8, put the result in port C. If RB0 is 1, I jump to loop label 2. So that's a bit test, skip if clear. If it's 1, I don't skip, and I go to L2. If it's clear, I skip over. Is port C equal to 5? So I'm going to do a compare skip if equal. To do that, I need to set it up. Move 5 to W, compare port C to W. If it's equal, I skip. That means I won. Um, if I won, I add 7 to port D. If I lost, I decrement port D, and then repeat. So each block corresponds to a section of assembler. Another one is a voting machine. If I have three candidates, I'm going to have three spots of memory for their vote total. I'm going to start out with each candidate having zero votes and port B being input. That's this block. Um, the first one, has anybody voted? Has anybody, did the cast a vote for anyone? Is any button on port B pushed? So that'd be right here. I'll move 0 to W, compare port B to 0. If it's greater than 0, I skip out. Otherwise, they keep on looping. Keep looping until somebody gets a vote. Once somebody gets a vote, who got the vote? If it was RB0, I don't skip, and I increment voter A. If it was RB1, I don't skip, I increment VB. If it was RB2, port B pin 2, I don't skip, I increment the vote for candidate C. Then at the end, that's this block, uh, wait until you've released the button so nobody's getting a vote. Move 0 to W. Compare skip if equal to port B. If port B is equal to 0, I skip over. So once it's 0, I skip out and wait for the next button push. 
Otherwise, keep on looping, waiting for you to release the button. So this is kind of what you can expect on the midterm. Again, notice each section of code corresponds to one section of assembler. That's how I graded as well. Each section is worth the same number of points, typically like three points each. If you're stuck on this one, don't know what to do, do the rest of the code. They're all equal weighting, at least get partial credit. That's the solution to homework set number two for ECE 376.